what better place to start this video than in front of my teeny tiny kitchen and a basket full of pink plastic. Welcome to Laid Like Mama, I'm Natalie, and welcome to my toy organisation video. I wanted to make this video because like every other parent around, our house was like a toy explosion after Christmas. It looked like Toys R Us and she received lots of big toys and lots of toys with little characters in, like little teeny tiny characters everywhere. And I was kicking Peppa Pig around when I was walking and there was Lego everywhere and I was just sick of it. And I wanted to make a system that worked. And I was in that horrible dilemma with, do I just burn the lot in the bonfire in the back garden? Which obviously I'm joking, kind of. Or do I sort them out? So I chose to sort them out. I had everything in a big basket and she would just tip it out and it would go everywhere. And I would just be like, oh. And nothing was really getting played with properly and nothing was keeping her interest that long. She's nearly two and a half. And because everything was just mixed up and everything was just in a basket or in like a bin, she just wasn't playing with it. So I knew I had to sort things out, spend some time with the Peppa Pig plastic figurines and really get down to the nitty gritty of organising these toys. And I think I've done quite a good job. So I wanted to just show you a few things that we put in place that have really helped us and systems that are really working for us. And I mean genuinely working. I don't want you to think that I am the most organised, tidy person in the world because I am not. <laughs> Trust me, I am not. I will insert a clip of the toys how they were when I put them in this room before I sorted them. As you can see, it's not a great sight. I wanted to make my life easier and I wanted to make a system that would be easy for me to manage, easy for her to learn how to put toys away and that would integrate well into our house. Now I'm gonna show you everything that we've done and I hope that this helps and on with the video. Here's my tips and tricks, have a great day, bye. I just thought I'd start off by showing you the room, where all the toys are, and where she plays, and how kind of organised and tidy that it looks now that I've got this system in place. Tip number one is to buy a good storage unit. This is the Tom Nash unit from Ikea. It's not expensive, it's really good quality, sturdy, and I just don't think you can beat it for toy storage. Tip number two, buy some baskets. I chose these kind of bark effect ones from Ikea just because they go in nicely with our wood furniture and our antiques and you're just going to want to label them up. So I've labelled them up with puzzles and interactive toys, art toys, whatever type of toys you've got. Group things into sections. It will make putting toys back so much easier. number three keep a bin quite empty so that you can put any new toys that you get any toys that are broken or just things that need to be rehomed and you haven't got time to do yet and then you'll have space to do it tip number four small toys use plastic mesh wallets to store all the little figures all the little happy land toys the pepper pig sets any of those little fiddly bits that just get everywhere keep them in these zip bags they're really good quality these are from amazon but you can get them in home bargains and b&m any kind of stationery shop and they're just great because the kids can open them my daughter even knows now that they all go in there and it keeps things so much tidier Tip number five, create yourself an art section just so that you can keep all your Play-Doh in there, your colouring books, any kind of crafty things that you know are going to keep your kids entertained on those rainy days when they're driving you nuts. Tip number six, keep any toys that are part of a set. So, for example, this is a Peppa Pig band set in some inexpensive plastic baskets and then everything will stay together and you won't be finding trumpets flying around your living room. Number seven, probably the most important, is limit the amount of toys in each bin. It will make tidying up faster, it will make your child play with them longer, and trust me, it works so well for keeping those toys tidy. Tip number eight, use wicker baskets to store toys in other areas of your home, whether it's the living room, whether it's your dining room, wherever. Limit the amount of toys that are in there and use the plastic wallets to keep little toys in again. And just limit the amount of toys that are in there. That's the biggest advice I can give you. Purge them toys and life will be so much easier. Whoa, 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 what is this crazy woman doing tipping toys all over the floor? This is just to demonstrate tip number nine, which is to limit the amount of toys that are in there and make them easy to organise, like I just said, in the mesh baskets. But you want to make sure that your toys can be put away in about 30 seconds or less, because trust me, when you're in a rush at night and you just want to get into bed, but you've got to pick up your toys, if you've limited the amount and you can put them away in less than 30 seconds, this took me 14 seconds, you'll be so grateful. 
Tip number 10, take things out of boxes and the plastic packaging. Chuck that packaging away, obviously recycle, but you want to take everything out of the little boxes because they just get messed up and they're a pain. Put them in plastic wallets, especially if it's like Play-Doh or art stuff. Store it away and it's so much easier and neater. Number 11, if you do use a big basket for putting toys in, which are great, keep it just for big toys. So that might be for little cats or for unicorns or for hoovers, big bags of Lego. Don't keep any teeny tiny little pieces in there, whether it's doll's house pieces, etc. Keep the bottom of your basket pretty tidy so that if your child does tip the basket out, it won't take you very long to put things back in. You can throw them back in. Job done. Tip number 12, buy a good kitchen or use the kitchen you've got wisely. This is the IKEA kitchen. I love it. It's so cute and I just love that you can do all different things to it. But use the storage of your kitchen wisely. Keep everything kitchen related underneath. So you might keep your toasters, keep a basket to keep all the plates in there. I can't recommend highly enough keeping all the plates and the spoons in a basket instead of just putting them in there. It's so much easier to tidy. Also, don't fill the kitchen underneath too much so that when you do get new kind of plastic food or people might buy them little kettles, there's places to put it. Also, use the space on top of your kitchens for baskets to store kind of food pieces or little shopping baskets. And it just gives you a little bit of extra storage. Tip number 13, use the storage on top of the storage. We've attached this box to the top of our IKEA unit and to the wall, and we've just limited it to three toys in there, three big things that I don't necessarily want on display. It's great extra storage, and everything could go in and out of there easy because it's not rammed full, and it's been really useful. Number 14, toy rotation. This is something I've heard so much about and never done, but now I've done it, I am so glad I have. Basically, toy rotation is where you limit the amount of toys that you have out for your child to play with. This sounds really mean, it's not. So I have this big chest and in there I have two of these IKEA bins full of new and old toys that she loves, toys that she hasn't played with yet, Christmas presents that she had, and I put them in there. And every month I have set a reminder on my phone so they actually go beep beep and it tells me to rotate the toys. I then just take out the toys from the chest and swap over the toys from the IKEA unit that we have out that she plays with. It keeps the toys fresh, it keeps the toys exciting, and it just means that you haven't got every single toy that you own out on display because that's just not realistic. We also do this with big toys, so we do it with the piano and this horse thing and a push chair, and we're gonna swap over her using the Peppa Pig mat that's out and the bouncy thing and the shopping trolley. Number 15, find a space, whether it's a bin or a basket, to throw in toys that your child may have outgrown, things they don't play with anymore, things you want to get rid of. Throw it in so that when you find those baby toys knocking around that you've been meaning to put up the loft, you've got somewhere to put them. You don't have to deal with them in that moment, but you know that every kind of four or six months you can grab this bin, put it up the loft and sort it. And that's all the tips. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe for more videos coming from me very soon. And have a great day. Bye. Snake. Even the dog's happy. <laughs> little like character things and there's little houses and there's little characters and they have little dog characters and cat characters and they get everywhere. There's Lego and there's Lego and there's Lego. A lot of toys are so ugly and they're big and they make noise and they chat and sometimes they talk to you and they're like the you know sounds will go off and you'll be like no one's playing with it why is it talking to me.